Hello all, in this particular tutorial, we will learn how to perform DB2 fix pack upgrade and downgrade. This is recorded on 11.5.4 and 11.5.7 and rail 8.5. There are two different methods by which you can do the fix pack upgrade. You can install the binaries in different location on the same server. And if you choose this particular method, you can choose which instances to upgrade and rollback is easier. There is another method where you can perform the in-place upgrade. In this particular method, all instances within that particular path are upgraded and rollback is difficult. My suggestion, if I have to choose between these two options, I will go with method one because for me, the rollback is important. The, the my setup is something like this so operating system is rail 8.5 i already mentioned that we the current version is 11.5.4 the target version is 11.5.7 i got two instances dbp and dbs that is a database and test p under dbp so test p under dbp and test s under dbs so the last letter of the database matches to the instance name and the virtual box version on on which this particular tutorial is recorded is 6.1.30. So there are two upgrade methods that we will cover the DB2 binaries in different location. Then if we have to roll back, we will use the DB2 IUPDT. In place upgrade is the second method. And if we have to roll back, you will use the install fix pack command. So let's start with our environment. So this is how our environment looks like. So if I say the host name CTL, you will see that this is Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.5 and if I clear the screen and if I do DB2 LS then you can see under 11.5.4 11 under 11.5.4 you have 11.5.4 that's installed currently and if I go under this particular path and under that particular path under instance folder and under instance folder if I run command called DB2 ilist you can see that there are Two instances, DBP and DBS, both of those instances are currently up and running. And that's good. So there is one database under DBP and there is one database under DBS, which I have already mentioned that you will see at, as and when we go ahead with this particular tutorial. So first thing that we need to do is we are going to use the method one where we are going to install the db2 binaries in a different location so let me extract untar the software so let me launch one more putty session so clear so let me untar the software once the software is untarred i will be checking if this particular db2 fix pack version is compatible with the operating system so let's do that so that that particular for that i'll be running db2 prerequisite check and I'll be specifying 11.5.7. That's the version that we are going to install. So I'm going to verify that whether this particular version and DB2 prerequisite check can be found under the extracted when you when you extracted the software under that you will be able to find it. So let me actually before running that let me show you. Let me go to this particular path. So that's where we have extracted. So you can see under DB we have extracted. Under this, if I run the pre, you can see sorry. DB2 pre, why am I doing that? Okay, you can see DB2 prerequisite check. You can see utility called DB2 prerequisite check. And if I run this particular command, it will verify whether our operating system is compatible. So you can see that the prerequisite check utility has confirmed that all installation prerequisites were met. So that's good news. So this particular one OS is compatible with 11.5.7. So next part is we are going to install so as i mentioned we are going to install in a different location so let me create a directory so now what we are going to do is we are going to run a command called install fix pack again this particular command you can find under the same extract wherever you have extracted the software you will find install fix pack we will run this particular command install fix pack and when we run this particular command we will specify the existing directory 11.5.4 so if you see the db2 is installed under 11.5.4 so we will use that particular path as the the as the base directory so this is where the existing software this is where we are going to install so 11.5.4 is where the software is currently installed so this is what i'm specifying in the base path and this is where we are going to install so 
Take a, now we'll copy this. So once I run this particular command, accept the license, it will ask, do you want to choose a different installation directory for the fixed pack? And we are going to say yes to this because we want to install the DB2 in a different binary, a different location. So, and I'm going to specify the new location where I'm going to install this. So that's done. So once this particular command is run, what is going to do is it's going to it's not going to touch this particular binary. It's going to install the DB2 binaries in a different directory. So this particular operation is completely online. As you can see, my instances are up and running. Now, so when you are installing the binary in a different location, your databases and instances can be up and running. So that's all good. One, one thing I want to highlight that, you know, you can, you instead of using the install fix bag, you can definitely install the software using the DB2 setup or DB2 install the traditional DB2 way. However, there is one thing that you need to make sure that when you choose this particular options, you need to make sure that all the components which are installed in the original path are installed. Otherwise, some of the functionality will not work. So how do you actually verify that what are the components that are installed? So what you can do is you can run the DB2 LS command and this time you are going to say query under this particular path under this particular path you will query what are the binaries that you are going to what are present so if you see these are the component these are the components that got installed as part of your original install so under the original install you can see these are all the components so if you use the db2 setup or db2 install make sure that you choose all of these components otherwise the functionality the database may not function as required. So this is very important. So the database software is still getting installed. So while it is getting installed, I'll pause the video and come back once the software is installed. As you can see, the execution completed successfully. So now if I run the DB2 LS command, if I run the DB2 LS command, you can see that now we got Initially, we had 11.5.4. Now we got 11.5.7 under 11.5.7. However, we have just installed the software. So if I run the db2 ilist command, then both of the instances are still pointing to 11.5.4. If I run the db2 ilist from the 11.5.7, the new binary, then you should be able to see that there is no instance at all under the new binary. So that's good. So the instances are still pointing to the old binary what we can do is what i'm going to do is i'm going to upgrade this particular instance db2 level the dbs instance this particular instance i'm going to upgrade to 11.5.7 so to do that what we are going to do so i've done this i've done this so to do that what i'm going to do is we need to first stop deactivate and stop the instance so without stopping the instance we i will not be able to upgrade my instance so let's do that so this we have to do as an instance owner so that's all good so i've stopped one of the instance so if i run ps minus ef grab db to c only the dbp is running you can see only the dbp is running the dbs is no longer running because i've stopped it because that is the instance the dbs instance is what i am going to upgrade to 11.5.7 so let me clear the screen and let me keep a note of db to level so it is at 11.5.4 so now as a root user, we need to run the DB2 IUPDT. The DB2 IUPDT can be found under the new. So we have to go to the new binary and under the new binary, you will find a folder called instance under instance that will be a utility called DB2 IUPDT and we have to specify the instance name. So let's do that. So let me go to this particular directory and from this is the new binary that we have installed 11.5.7 and I'm going to run db2 iupdt dbs. So that's, I'm doing that. And now if you, if I, once that particular command, if I run the db2 ilist command now from the new binary, see, you can see that from the new binary, it showed that there are two instances, dbp and dbs. So if I run it now, then you can see that the 11.5.7 dbs is pointing to 11.5.7 and if i run the db2 ilish from the old binary it should show only one instance called dbp which is which which we have not upgraded so that's all good so now let's the execution completed successfully that's a good news so now if i go to dbs and keep a note here it was pointing to 11.5.4 and it's from this particular location, if I run the DB2 level now, it's now pointing to 11.5.7 from this particular location. So that's good. So the, the instance has been upgraded and the only command that we ran 
positivity to IUPDT and the instance. And we ran that from the new binary. That's good. So now what we need to do is we need to upgrade the database. So to do that, under the bin directory of the new path, you will find a utility called db2 updb and we have to run this particular command. So let's do that. So before doing that, we need to start the instance. So let's, I'll do all of this together. So now I'll do up to this together. So let me, let me clear the screen. Let me go as the TBS instance and let me start the instance and then under the new binary, under the new binary, I'm running the db2 updv and the d for database test as. And if you have multiple databases, you will run this particular command for each and every databases that you want to upgrade to the new version. So this particular command says IBM db2 database update to current fix pack level. So it's going to update to current fix pack level. This is very important. Do not skip this particular step. So now once that is done, I'm going to connect to the database. I'm going to show you the service level. So that's done. Let me clear the screen and I'm connected to the database. And you can see that the database now shows 11.5.7. So we have successfully upgraded the instance using the DB2 IUPDT and we have successfully upgraded the database using DB2 UPDB 11.5 and specifying the database name. You have to run this particular command for every database which is present in that particular instance. I have only one database so i've done that and we have to run this from the new binary so this was the way we have done the upgrade now that the upgrade has done successfully however the application team is facing the issue and they have requested you as a dba to downgrade that particular instance so to do that what we need to do is again we need to stop the instance so let me disconnect all the application deactivate the database stop the instance so let's do that so let me clear the screen Let's do that. That's done. Let me clear the screen again. Let me log in as a root user. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the db2 IUPDT the same command, but now I'm going to run it from the old instance. So because the currently the instance is present under the 11.57, now we want to go back to 11.54. So now let me run that. So before running that, let me let me show you something. Before if I just now I'm in the old directory. So if I show you PWD, I'm under the old directory. And if I run DB2 IUPDT, and if I run DBS, if I run this particular command, it's going to fail because it will clearly identify that you are trying to update the instance from higher level to lower level. So let's see that. And let's see what message we get. And this is going to fail. And you can see a major error occurred. And the reason is that the updating an instance to code level lower is that that is why we got this particular warning. So what we need to do now is we from the old binary from the old binary, we are going to run the same command. But this time we are going to specify option F level. So we are forcing the level of DBS from 11.5.7 to 11.5.4. So we are forcing it down. So we have to use minus F level option. So let's do that. And if this particular command is successful, which it will be, then the instance will get downgraded to 11.5.4. So let's, if I come to this particular screen now, if I run, if you see under the old path, under the old path, there was only one instance DBP because we did not upgrade DBP. Now, if I run the, the, this particular command, once again, you can see that the DBS and DBP both are pointing to the old binary and if i run the same command from the new instance new path then you should be able to see that there is no there is no instance under the new path so the downgrade of the instance is completed successfully now remember sorry remember that remember that the remember that sorry let me do this let me keep a note of this okay so now remember that once you downgrade again you have to Using from the old binary, you have to do the db2 updb again. It is very important that you run this particular utility. I'll show you why it is important, not now. And then we will we'll run all of this command together and we'll verify what version of our instance is. So let me clear the screen. Let me go to the instance, start the instance. Then I'm going to do the, I'm going to upgrade the database. And this time I'm doing, because we have downgraded, we have to do it from the old 
finally so that's doing that connect to the dbs connected successfully and verified that this particular database is at 11.5.4 so that's all good so we have successfully learned how to upgrade and downgrade the instance using db2 iupdt when we have to up update the instance upgrade the instance we'll use the db2 iupdt from the new path and specify the instance name and we have to downgrade we'll say use the same command but this time we'll use the minus f level option so that's all good so once all of that is done now we will learn the second method so now there are two instances under this particular path so 11.5.4 so what if you want to up update all these instances to the new version at a time so that is also possible so what we are going to do is keep a note of this this is 11.5.4 which is under this particular location 11.5.4 is having 11.5.4 so what we are going to do and under that under that particular path under that particular path you have two instances dbp and dbs so i'm going to keep here i'm going to clear this and this is dbs so i'm going to keep a note of db level which is 11.5.4 and if i go to the another instance so let me do that and you can if i run db2 level for dbp this is also 11.5.4 so that's all good so now you can see instance name dbp has got 11.5.4 instance name dbs has got 11.5.4 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the second method but before doing that we need to make sure that the the databases and the instance is stopped right now both of the instances are up and running you cannot update the fix pack level if the instances are up and running so let me do that so this is dbs instance so let me do this let me do that and let me do that for dbp as well so let me copy this so i'm going to stop both the instances so that's all i'm doing this is pretty normal nothing new in this And that's good and now if i run ps minus ef grab db2 cc you can see none of the instances are up and running so that's all good so i've stopped so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to run the same install fix by command exactly same command that we ran in the method one however this time this time when i run this so let me run that particular command so let me exit and exit so let me log in as a root cd clear what i'm going to do is i'm 11.5.4 which is at this particular binary this particular binary so i'm going to run this particular command accept the license and do you want to choose a different installation directory this time i'm going to say no last time i said yes and i gave the path of the new binary this time i'm going to say no so now what's going to happen is the 11.5.4 is going to get converted to 11.5.7 that's what is going to happen so let's this particular step is going to take some time so let me pause the video and come back once this is completed so that got completed and we got some warnings so let's see if these warnings are critical so let me clear the screen get the log file and that's all looks success so that's and okay so manually remove the files that are not re re removed successfully if there are any listed this is a warning this i'm going to ignore that particular warning so now if i go here and see the magic this particular 11.5.4 was at 11.5.4 now if i run the db2 ls command you can see that this particular binary path got upgraded to 11.5.7 and there were two instances under this particular path let's see if those instances are still there those instances are still there under that particular path so let's go to that those and if i run the db2 level command once again you can see that the dbp instance which was at 11.5.4 is at 11.5.7 and if i go to dbs instance so if i exit and if i if i run the db2 level command once again then you should be able to see that the dbs instance which was at 11 sorry where is it the dbs instance which was at 11.5.4 has gone to 11.5.7 so both of the instances which were present under this particular path 
which were at 11.5.4 got upgraded to 11.5.7 so when you choose this particular method you do not have the choice of upgrading single instance all the instances if there were three instances all three instances will get upgraded to newer version so that's all good so now that the instances are the data instances are upgraded it's a time to upgrade the databases so we have to run this particular command and this particular command we have to run it from the new part i do not know why it says this so we have to this is not there is some mistake here so we okay yeah no sorry there is no mistake this is the same path because we upgraded the same path so there's no mistake here so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to start the instance and i'm going to do that and instead of doing it manually i'll do it all together so this every time we upgrade the instance so let me log in as the dbp user let me start the instance i think that start is part of the this one so start the instance and from the existing path because we have migrated we have upgraded the same path we'll run this particular command so this is very important do not skip this particular utility i'll show you what problems you will get if you do not run this particular utility so this we are this is for this so let me do that for this instance also so we can do it all together so i'm going to do i'm going to start the second instance and i'm going to do that for the dbs as well so let's do that and you can see that got completed for dbp and if i run this it says dbp database is at 11.5.7 and i'm doing it for the this dbs instance for the test s database and that is also done so that's all good so this was the way this was the second method how we can apply so i use the install fix pack and this time i replace the existing 11.5.4 existing 11.5.4 to 11.5.7 and when i did this both of the instances got upgraded however the databases we have manually updated so that's all good so now what i'm going to do is I'll show you how to download downgrade this particular uh, if we if we now if for some reason the application team says that you know these instances are not working as per so what if they say only one instance you have to downgrade so it is possible it is possible what you have to do now is you have to install 11.5.4 again in a different location and downgrade one of the instances using db2 iupd it's possible however that is not what i wanted to show you i wanted to show you how to downgrade the entire path so if i wanted to downgrade this entire path how am i going to do that so to do that what we are going to do do, do is again use the same command db2 ilist command the, sorry <laughs> what am i saying install fix pack command we have we'll use the install fix pack command but when i run this particular command i'll use the flag called minus f level so before doing that when we we, when we are running this we have to make sure both the instances are top because we cannot up, downgrade or update the binaries while the instances are up and running so dbp so let me stop the dbp so that's all good and let me stop the dbs and that's all good so i've stopped if i run ps minus ef grab db2 cc you can see both of the instances are stopped so now what i'm going to do is as a root user so as a root user i'm going to run the run the install fix pack but the we do not have the 11.5.4 binaries so what i'm going to do these are the 11.5.7 we extracted 11.57 i'm going to rename them so that's done i'm going to now extract the 11.5.4 so i'm going to extract them because we do not have those binary if you have them we do you already on system you do not have to extract it however in my case i do not have those binaries so i'm extracting the 11.5.4 from the original image downloaded from the ibm site so that's happening so once that is done what i'm going to do is from the extracted path i'm going to install so let's do that and before bef so that's done now what i'm going to do is instead i'll just say the i'll just run this particular command and this particular command let's see what happens so if i run this so it says updating an instance to a code level that is lower than the current level that is not going to work so it's it does not allow us 
this particular binary is of version 11.5.4 however 11 point this particular is at 11.5.7 so it doesn't allow us to downgrade so what is the option so i'm going to run this exactly same command but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to say f level so now if i do this it says do you want to choose a different directory and i'm going to say no to it because what i want is i want to i want to downgrade the same directory to the 11.5.4 so i'm going to say no and once this this now the installation is success uh, is started and this particular step is going to take some time so let me pause the video and come back and again the installation got completed and i got some warnings which are exactly same so i'm not going to waste your time at looking at them so now that we have run this and i'm going to show you the magic so if i run the db2ls command once again and you should be able to see that 11.5.4 this particular 11.5.4 has gone back to 11.5.4 so let's do that and if i if you see that 11.5.4 has gone back to 11 and there are two instances under this so those instances are still present and if i go to that those instances i do not have the db2 level output i do not know it's clear so if i run the db2 level output you can see that it is at 11.5.4 and if i go to if i go to the db p instance then you can see that that particular instance is also at 11.5.4 so that's all good so what we need to do now is once we have to start the instance and we need to we need to start the instance and we need to run the db2 iupdt from the existing binaries because we have done all of that so we have to do that so remember that every time you do the upgrade or downgrade you also run this particular utility so what i'm going to do is i'm going to skip this particular utility i'll let you know why and you'll come to know in a minute so now that we have seen how to do the upgrade and downgrade so remember there were two methods that i discussed one was you can install the db2 binaries in different location and you can use the db2 iupdt you can perform the in place upgrade and in place upgrade when you are doing the install fix pack you can choose to say no if you say no to the directory selection that it will apply the fix pack on the same directory and all the instances which are present in that directory will get upgraded if you want to downgrade the instance individual instance you can use db2 iupdt minus f level if you want to downgrade the entire binary you will use install fix pack again and minus f level so that's all we have seen so now before upgrade there are some things that you need to before fix pack update there are some things that you need to take care and these are the pre-checks steps before upgrade so remember do not skip this particular so there were we because we did upgrade and downgrade multiple times i do not want it to waste your time in showing these particular steps but you have to capture this particular information every time you do the upgrade so this is very important you should not skip these particular steps so before upgrading or before applying the fix pack you need to make sure and this particular information is going to help you to roll back your uh, environment if you are not able to roll it back using the db2 method so you can create your instance or you can install the binaries so without backup you know this if this particular methods will help you so what are the information that you will collect is the db2 level information the database manager configuration the database configuration if there are multiple databases repeat this particular line the, the db2 registry variable the license information node directory database directory the client export client configuration the db2 support backup of the database online or offline and make sure once the backup is completed you will verify that particular backup so let's do that so what i've done is i have written a small script so let me take this particular script i'll show it to you so let me I do not know whether i have started the instance so yeah the instance uh, was not started so let me create this particular script small scripts as a pre-checks so this is exactly what I showed you. So db2 level license dbm db config repeat this particular line for every database registry variable node directory database directory client configuration backup verify that backup is valid and db2 support. So this is all done. I'm going to save this particular directory and I'm going to make this particular file as executable. And if I show you under this particular file there will there will be a path if i go to this particular path it's completely empty so i'll do that here so let me go
go to this particular path and if i run ls minus l you can see total files is equal to zero so i'm going to now run this particular command so that's it's collecting the information so just don't collect the information verify that it has collected the information so level so if i do head that looks good it has collected the let's look at the let's look at the db db config that's good let's look at the dbm config that's good and let's the database seems to have successful let's look at the database backup log so let me say cat this and you can see backup successful that's good and the check backup output so let's take a look and image verification completed that is also good so you can see it has got a directory called db2 support it's a important file so what it does it's it actually this particular file will get converted into a zip file over the time the program is still running you can see the db2 support is still running once this particular command is completed it's going to convert this particular directory in a zip so let's give it a minute while it's doing that let me log in to the server and let me go to that particular path and it's still running so give it a minute for it to complete and that seems to have completed so if i go now here you can see that the i was talking about this particular file if i run ls minus lrt it get got converted into a zip file you do not have this particular directory and if you open that particular zip file so this is that zip file if i open that particular zip file you can see that under that there is the html and if i open that particular html it will capture all of this information which the tsa information the db configuration db directories the dbm configuration so if i show you to you this is the database configuration so this particular file so if you if you have missed the collection of some of the informations if you missed collection of some of the information the db2 support will help you and that will collect that particular information so that's all good so now that we have collected all of this information the backup is taken all of that this were part of the your pre-checks so before doing the upgrade do these particular steps so what are the steps that you will follow after performing the fix pack upgrade so the steps that you will do is you will do the schema bind so under the easter's home sql lib bind directory you will find some binds so you will do the schema bind u bind and the cli binds so you will do this particular binds if there are any explained tables you will migrate them you will do the r bind on all the packages you will if there are any invalid packages objects sorry invalid objects you will revalidate them if there are invalid objects you will check if there are invalid objects if there are invalid objects you will check them and if you will try to take a backup the first backup after the fix pack if you can maybe online or offline is your choice and you will verify if there are any logs so what i have done is like i have created this particular script so let's do that so let me let me run this particular command so let me go to the this is the instance so that's started let me connect to the database to run the binds we need to be connected to the database so that's done and i'm going to run the three commands the schema binds utility bind and cli binds so that's done the first command got successful zero errors zero warnings the second one has got 30 warnings these warnings are because this particular table gets created at the runtime so that's why this particular warning you can safely ignore them and the last command has got zero errors and zero warning so that's all good the next part that we are going to do is we are now going to very verify if there are any invalid objects so let's do that and you can see there is one invalid package and let me verify if there are any invalid objects so i'll show you what queries i ran so this particular query was on syscat packages with valid is equal to n and this particular query is on syscat invalid objects which is going to show that there are nine invalid objects so what i'm going to do now is using this particular command so using the using the revalidate db objects command 
I'm going to revalidate db objects command. I'm going to revalidate the invalid object. So let's do that. So let me, I'm already connected to the database. So if I run db2 get connection status, you will see that I'm connected to the database. You can see connect table and connected. So right now I'm connected and I'm going to run this particular command. So let's do that. And I'm now I'm trying to revalidate all the invalid objects. And you can see my database instance has gone down. So if I run the ps minus ef grab db2 cc, you can see the db2 p instance is no longer up and running. The instance itself went down. And the reason for that is the mistake that we did. The I did not run the db2 updb utility. Once I have the instance was downgraded, but I did not run the db2 updb utility. And that caused this particular error. So let's now do, let's start the instance once again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the db, db2 updb. So let's do that. So I'm running that particular utility and once this particular utility is done, I'm going to run the same command. So that's done. So now I'm going to connect to the database. So I've connected and the error, we got the error at this particular command. So let's see whether that particular command still fails. So I'm going to do that. And if, and you can see return status is equal to zero. So that is why it is very important to do the db2 updb otherwise your database is not completely upgraded so that's all good now we are going to verify if there are any invalid packages or invalid objects before doing that i'll rbind the do the rbind and that's completed successfully let's verify if there are any invalid packages using the syscat packages valid is equal to n so syscat packages valid is equal to n and let's see that there are there were one invalid package so that's no longer there and if i run invalid objects there were nine invalid objects i've cleared the screen that's why i cannot show you and that's all good so with this we have successfully downgraded our instance so the db2 level you can see that it is at 11.5.4 and if i connect to the database and run the this particular query you should be able to see that we are at 11.5.4 so this was how you will downgrade the entire binary path so with this i will stop this particular tutorial in this particular tutorial we learned how to perform the upgrade and downgrade and we learned it using two different methods you can install binaries in different location and you can choose which is just to upgrade or you can perform the in place upgrade we saw both of the methods my personal preference is to go with option number one where we have entire control. I hope you liked this particular video. I hope you like the tutorials that I'm uploading to my YouTube channel. If you do like my content, if you like the videos that I'm uploading, do like to my like the video and do subscribe to my channel. With that, I will say thank you and see you in next tutorial. Bye bye.